Pergamon's strategic location made it an important city, especially in the Hellenistic period. Look at this incredible view! It's easy to understand why they picked this location. Imagine you were the ruler of this city and you could see every corner of your kingdom from here and you'd be safe from attacks. In fact, it was for this very reason that one of the successors to Alexander the Great chose Pergamon to hide his war booty after the death of the Macedonian king. The city was then ruled by the Byzantines, the Anatolian Seljuks, and lastly the Ottomans, who all added their own personal touches to the culture and texture of the city. After being inherited by the Romans from the Attilid dynasty, the city became the leading cultural metropolis of the region. This incredible theater, one of the steepest of the ancient world, was at the center of this culture. It gives me chills to imagine 10,000 people gathered here to watch various forms of art, from comedies to tragedies to concerts, but it doesn't end there. One of the largest libraries in the world, so famous that it rivaled the library in Alexandria, was located here. It's said that Marcus Antonius gifted all 200,000 scrolls from this library to Cleopatra, perhaps as a sign of his love or proof of how great this library was. A big indicator of the city's influence in ancient times actually lives on to this day. Pergamon was a thriving producer of parchment, or pergamenum in Latin, which they made from the skin of animals. In fact, they were the first to use parchment to write on. And now you know where the word parchment comes from. That's right, it's derived from the name of the city. Paragomon, Paragomenum, parchment. It's all connected. This sacred street, called Via Tecta, leads to the Asclepion, a famed healing center of the ancient world. Patients would walk down this street, lined with stores, to reach the center. Here, they received various treatments such as mud baths, medicinal herbs, and even surgery, if deemed necessary. But interestingly, treatments included dream interpretation, with dedicated sleeping rooms for this purpose. But don't worry, they did use real medical techniques. One of the most famous physicians in the Roman Empire was born and educated in Pergamon. Galen's contributions to medicine were so profound that after leaving Pergamon, he became the physician to emperors such as Marcus Aurelius. His work even continued to influence the field of medicine 1,500 years after his death. We've arrived at the sanctuary. Let's take a look at this small column in the middle. Do these two snakes look familiar to you? The modern symbol for medicine is based on this, the rod of Asclepius. Asclepius was the god of medicine, and this entire complex was built in his honor.
The Red Basilica was built as a temple for Egyptian gods in the 2nd century AD. It's a remarkable Roman temple with its monumental height and striking red bricks. Later, during the spread of Christianity, it was converted into a church, one of the seven churches of Revelation. Considering everything we uncovered today, it's no surprise that Paragamon and its multi-layered cultural landscape were added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. This sacred atmosphere, the wonderful nature, and abundance of fresh air have really worked up our appetites. Up next, we'll be making a delicious dish with a local twist. Stay tuned for this ancient recipe.